Good morning, grade nines. How are you today? I'm hoping that you are all well. Uh, those are my uh, my contact details still. Uh, I'm Olsan Mbata, and or you can find me on Twitter at MbataX, or you can find me on Instagram at XKIM. So uh, today's lesson is going to be a brief one. Remember that tomorrow you've got that test uh, that you are writing. So towards the end of the lesson, I'll give you the details as to how you're going to write the test tomorrow. Uh, by the end of this uh, lesson, or uh, our today's lesson, you are expected to know the following. So by the end of this lesson, you'll know the following. Obviously, at the end of the lesson, you will know revision of the periodic table, since it's going to form part of your lesson and the representing of representation of elements. You'll also know how to classify the classification of elements. It's all uh, revision compound, balancing compounds, chemical equations, diatomic um, elements. Oh, and not long weekend, but remember the homework that I gave you yesterday. Yesterday I gave you a homework, so. Oh, then we can't see your slides yet. You can't see my slides? No, it's still on lesson 14. It hasn't moved. You must write it again. What is wrong? But, um, okay, I don't know what I need to do, but because I'm on slide three now, what is no. it showing? Well, it's showing the, um, what do you call this? The folder. Your, your, yeah, no, let's click, okay. Oh, I, I got it and then it moved away. Let me do this, don't worry, I'm fixing it. Can you see it now? Not yet. What do you see? Uh, it's lesson 14, no. the, the file, lesson 14. That file is closed. But it's still open on my side. Let me do this. What do you see now? S still the same. Okay, have you moved out? No. Okay. Screen sharing has stopped or? No, you're not sharing your slide at the moment. You're not sharing uh, anything. Let me say, okay, let me share my slides then. Um, now? Okay, something is coming. All right, we got you. Okay. Okay, thank you so much. Sorry about that, grade nines. Uh, those, <laughs> um, we've got um, grade nine natural sciences class, welcome. And then I'm still a presenter called San Mbata, and you can find me on Twitter at, X, at Mbata X or Instagram at XKIM. Um, just a bit of a request, grade nine if you can actually DM your email addresses so that uh, we can make our exam tomorrow very, very easy. Uh, but if you can just DM me your, uh, your email addresses, I will appreciate that. And then uh, by the end of this lesson, grade nines, you will be here. You will know the following. Uh, it's we are revising, uh, revision of the periodic table, representing elements, classification of elements, compounds, balancing compounds, chemical equations, diatomic molecules, and then I'm not sure about the homework, but yesterday, uh, homework corrections. Uh, who do I have to work with me? Who do I have to work with me? Anybody to help uh, with uh, number one of our homework? Unkabitz raise the hand. Can I have Unkabitz's mic open? Hello, Unkabeti. Unkabeti. Morning, sir. Morning, sir. How are you? I'm doing it today, sir. Good, good. Um, can we do this part of our homework very fast? Um, an arrangement of elements in an organized pattern, what do we call it? A periodic table. A periodic table, periodic table. Um, I will have to highlight that so that everybody can see the answer. Yes, it is in red. A metal with uh, 25 protons in the nucleus, Ungawezi? Mag 
manganese. What? Manganese. Manganese, yes, it is manganese. And then, um, Unkabeti, uh, what do we call, um, this, these examples, they fall under what these examples? They include so sodium, think, potassium, and iron carbon. So I think it's oxide. Nope. You remember that the oxides, what did I do? But then let me explain this while we're waiting for my network. Yes, we're back. Um, remember the oxides are reactions of a metal with oxygen. But then now we've got these examples. So I'm asking you, what are these examples for? Look at them. I'm not sure, sir. Okay, um, these are examples of diatomic molecules. Remember? Remember the sentence, never be, what, scared of scared ice cold? Ice cold beer. Yes, so those are all there, you see? So it's but diatomic. No, so, but potassium is not a diatomic. Oh no, it's not a diatomic, I'm sorry. These are examples of what? They are examples of metals. Thank you. Can you sir. see that? Yes. So th there are examples of metals from the periodic table. Remember, we classify the metals. So the classification of iron, what can you say about iron? It's a transition metal. It's a transition metal, yes. And then a non-metal found in all living uh, uh, things? Oxygen. Thank you very, very much. It will be your oxygen. So grade nines, you can find uh, such questions to, in our tomorrow's test. Thank you, Unkabeti. Let me see who else is here to help us with number two. Anybody raise your hand and we do number two. Who else is there? These ones are very easy. You just look at your periodic table and we answer them. Who else is there? Saman, you just you are late for class. Do you want to help us? Saman, are you ready to help us? Where's Nkosi? James? Who wants to help us? So I might do it again. Okay, let's continue Unkabeti because no one is available. So they say to you, Unkabeti, and the rest of the class, use a periodic table to answer the following questions. Name the noble gas that is found in period two. Neon. It's a? Neon. It's a neon, yes. And then, um, let me highlight it for the rest of the class. What element has 86 protons? Radon. It's radon. It's radon. It's radon. <laughs> radon. Why is Lisiko late for class? Someone admit Lisiko. I'll name the element with the symbol SN. Tin. Yes, it is tin. Then um, describe two properties of chlorine. It's a disinfectant and a non-metal. A non-metal. It is also a dis disinfectant. Dis uh, Non-metal and it is also a disinfectant. Thank you very much.
How many groups are there on the periodic table? 18 groups. We've got 18 groups. How many periods? Seven. Thank you. So we've got 18 groups. Thank you so much, Unka Betsy. Um, let us look at the chemical equation. So grade nines, if you've got any questions during this um, lesson, remember it's a revision for our tomorrow's test. So if you've got any questions, if you've got any questions, Bax is late for my class. If you've got any questions uh, concerning uh, tomorrow's que uh, test, uh, it's gonna be very formal. So you will start writing the test from 11 o'clock until 11.45. Then we've got a certain time, obviously, for each question. Then I will give you a grace of submitting until 12 o'clock. If you fail to submit before 12 o'clock, I won't be able to mark your test that will come to me after 12 o'clock. So today I want us to look at the chemical equations to, um, to, to, to represent a reactions. So we know that chemical reactions and chemical processes in which two or more substances react to form new substances. So you use symbols to formulate uh, the representations uh, of reactions. So you use your knowledge about symbol to present chemical reaction. And then uh, what happens is that you use your knowledge about symbols to represent chemical reactions. I think everyone is clear with this one. Then, uh, I don't know if everyone else is experiencing some network problems like myself. So this is called a chemical reaction. When hydrogen reacts with oxygen to form water, we all know about balancing of the equations. Do we have anyone in class who has a problem with this balancing of the equations? Do we have anyone? I don't think so. So you, the subscript number in each formula indicate the number of atoms of an element in, um, in, in that reaction. So in that element or compound as well. So the coefficient in front of the formula indicate, um, indicate the number of atoms of an element in that compound. And then the coefficient in front of the formulae indicates the ratio in which the molecules react. So the coefficient, these two grade nines that we've been putting, it can be two, it can be three, it can be four, but the coefficient, you all know the coefficient. You now know that it obviously shows us or tells us about the, the ratio. So the ratio at which the elements are reacting. These two, the coefficient, we call them the coefficient. Then these ones, we call them the subscripts, the subscript, the number of molecules in the atom. Are we clear, grade nines? Then um, what happens is that um, we've got what we call diatomic molecules. So the diatomic molecules are molecules that compo are com composed of only two atoms. The diatomic uh, elements have no, uh, so I, I gave you that sentence, have no fear of ice cold beer to remember all. So if the test tomorrow says name your diatomic molecules, there you go. Those are your diatomic molecules. It's hydrogen, nitrogen, fluorine, oxygen, iodine, uh, carbon, and bromine. And then atoms are conserved during their reaction. So the atoms are not lost during the reaction. They are conserved. Then um, during the reaction, atoms are not lost or gained. But that's why we said the, the, the numbers that uh, we actually um, put in our equations, the, the, the coefficients, they show us the ratio not to say we are adding elements or molecules, but we are showing the ratio at which they are, they, 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 they are, the reaction is taking place. 
then the original atoms in the reactants are simply rearranged to form new groups of atoms in the product. So when the elements are reacting, they will react to give us a new group or a new product. For example, when carbon is reacting with oxygen, what do we get? We get a new compound called carbon dioxide. Are we clear, grade nines? Then um, what else did we look at? Uh, besides unkabezi, uh, can I have, what you call, can I have anyone to do the classwork with me? Who wants to do the classwork with me? Uh, I'm waiting for a hand to be up so that we can do a classwork. I've got, uh, 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 so a classwork, you just fill in the missing word or the missing answer. So they're saying to you there, an alkali, what do you know about an alkali? And then uh, we continue. We say, um, a strong alkali as dangerous as acids. We did that yesterday. So I told you that we are doing most of our revision now. Who wants to do the classwork with me, grade nines? Let us work. So you are not doing the classwork. Can I move on? If I'm not, if you are not doing the classwork, I'm going to move on. So we can say that, what do you know about an alkali grade nines? Okay, and alkali grade nines, I'm going to do this last one for you. An alkali is a base that is soluble in water. Remember we did this yesterday, right? That is insoluble in water. An alkali is a base that is soluble in water. We did this yesterday, grade nines. A strong as, uh, alkali as dangerous as, a strong alkali as dangerous as acids, yes. They are. Strong uh, alkali is also dangerous as acids. What sort of solution does bicarbonate of soda make? What type of solution does a bicarbonate of soda make? So it's a basic solution, a basic or alkali. Remember that baking powder is, uh, it, it dissolves in water, alkali. Alkaline solution. Do you see what is expected of you there when you're ans answering these questions, grade nine? Then what is the PA, what is pH of neutral? We all know it is seven. What pH is vinegar, grade nine? What pH is vinegar? Ah, uh, but you are not fair, grade nines. I work alone now. So and I won't be, yes? Is it, it's below three. Is it three or below three, Unkabit? <laughs> huh? I think it's below three. The pH of vinegar, yes, it is below three. So it means, what do you know? If it's below three, it is acidic, right? Acidic. But uh, uh, it's not below three, it's above three. You know why I'm saying it's above three? No, sir. Because uh, you can consume vinegar. Isn't it that when you cook 
beetroot there you put in vinegar. So it's just above three. Thank above you, three, yes. What pH is milk? Unkabit. That's your homework. The question will be there in a test tomorrow. So as it's um, an alkaline revision test, let us do it in class again. Are you there, Unkabitzi? Yes, uh, yeah, the pH. Yeah. Yes, thank you. I don't want to be alone in this classroom. It's too big for me. The pH is used to measure the acidity or of a chemical. Base. Base is acidity or basic of chemicals. How are they basic? The pH scale is from pH number what to number what? Number one to number 14. From zero to number, number 14. 14. Remember that yesterday we discussed that some of the, in theory, some of the acids are zero. So we did that. The pH of water and solution and what solution is seven? I'm not sure. It's neutral solution. Oh. Neutral solution is seven. So remember that our water that we drink, um, it's neutral. So now the even if we're looking at any other uh, solution that has a pH of seven, so we say it's neutral. Remember that water is neutral. The lower the pH of an acid, the mm, the acidity. The stronger. The stronger. Who's that? Cleopatra. Thank you, Cleopatra. The stronger the acidity. Thank you, Cleo. The higher the pH of an alkali, the greater the? Basic. Yes. The basic or alkaline, I guess. You can others they can use the alkaline term. It's also fine. Alkaline. Thank you so much, my girls. So let us have a quiz moment, grade nines. This has pH of less than seven. What is it? Acid. Acid. This is often used in cleaners. So we it's use alkaline. It for, alkaline or base, right? Thank you. Alkaline or base. So number three, um, sodium hydroxide is a? So you skipped. Oh, I skipped, I'm sorry. I'm going to see you back, thank you very much. <laughs> this would turn a uh, universal indicator red. Okay. Oh. I explained this yesterday. This would turn universal indicator red. Uh, acid. Acid, thank you. Acid. Uh, sodium hydroxide is an alkali. It's a, 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 a what we said. A, 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 a sodium hydroxide. Uh, what hydroxides yesterday? I explained to you. So they are an alkaline, and then we say we call them what a reaction of acids and bases. So is a base. Uh, sodium hydroxide is a base. Okay. Then um, this would feel soapy on your hand or skin. Yes. Yes, dinner. But what is it? Is it an acid or a base? It's a base. Base. 
So even handy ND is a base, so it would obviously is ammonia, it would it is slippery. The soap that we bath with, it is slippery. Most of the cleaning agents which are base are actually a slippery when you touch them. This could burn your skin. Yes. Acid. 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 Thank you. Everyone is on the same page. So tomorrow, when you're writing a test, please write answers only. Write answers only. This would turn the universal indicator purple. Alkali. Thank you. Lemon juice and vinegar, examples of wick. Acids. 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 Weak acids. So the pH is above four. Remember Unkabeti? Yes. Yes. Vinegar is a weak acid. That's why we are able to consume it when we are cooking beetroot, you know. I only <laughs> use it for beetroot. Lime water, calcium hydroxide is an example of this. Alkali. Thank you. Base. Base and alkaline. Who got a total from this quiz? No one. We helped each other, all of us. Yes, sir. I got a total. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> We've been working as a group now. <laughs> Let's balance the following grade nines. We are working as a group again. So the first step when you're looking at this, my, uh, they say balance the following uh, metal oxides. So, so these are metal oxides. They are reacting with oxygen. So magnesium burns in air. Give me a, an equation. Magnesium. Mg plus O2 is equal to Mg. 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 We're getting what? MgO2. MgO2 never. No, MGO. Nice. <laughs> MGO, right? So now is the equation balanced, grade nine? No. no. Let us, what is not balancing? Let us look at the oxygens. How many oxygens do we have on the left? Two. Uh, two. And then on the, on, on, on the right? One. So let us put, we, do we put a subscript or a coefficient? Uh, coefficient. Which uh, coefficient are you going to put there? Two. two. Hmm. Is our on the, uh, is it side. on the right hand side we right put two there? No, the on the right, right hand side we put two there. So now we have two oxygens and two magnesiums on the left, on the right. And then on the left we've got two oxygens and one uh, what you call magnesium. So we gonna put another coefficient there, which is two. Two. Then our our what you call. It is balanced now. Give me the equation for this, for number two now. Al plus O2. Aluminium reacts with oxygen to give us. What do we get? Al, ALO. A Aluminium oxide. So is it balanced, grade nines? No. Not balanced, let us balance it. So we've got two oxygens, we'll need two oxygens this side, and then we've got two aluminum that side. So there we go. Lead bends in oxygen as well. PV plus O2. Lead reacts with oxygen to give us PVO. Then we can also see that it is not balanced. It is not balanced. So you know how to balance it. We're looking at the oxygens first. And we there we go. And then we shot off another two day. And then I'm hoping everyone is following how we're balancing. Then uh, we've got potassium pens in air. K plus O2. Other people are not familiar with their 
what you call a uh, periodic table then there we go we've got okay. potassium outside there and then it is not balanced how are we going to balance it coefficient, coefficient of two and then um we've got mercury bends in air as well mercury hg, HG plus o2 hg plus O two. What do we get? HGO. HGO. Make your oxide. So is it balanced? Grade nines? No. 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 So how do we balance it? Wait, so can. So uh, I did my metric like a while ago. So my physics teacher, I think she was not clear about this, and then she said. When you see a question says balance, you just put it two. You'll never go wrong. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm also telling you, if you see this, if you see uh, an equation, you don't know what to balance, just put a, a coefficient two, I promise you. <laughs> the chances are you will get it right. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> not please remember. Uh... Not always, not always. Please remember to calculate. Count your elements from both sides. Are we clear on that one, Great nine? Yes, sir. Yes, yes. Sir. So please calculate. Don't be like me and be told to look for what you call to look for. Uh, uh, just put two there. Calculate, and then um. So grade nines. I'm not going to touch on the forces. We're gonna do forces on Monday, but uh, I want you to ask me any questions about tomorrow's uh, what you call about tomorrow's test. Uh, because the main part of it, grade nine, which acids did I say you must uh, know? Which acids did I say you must know? Uh, hmm? uh, um, So acids that you must know for tomorrow, grade nines are these ones. How do we write nitric acid? If I say, um, let's say calcium reacts with nitric acid, how are you going to re represent a nitric acid? What's the com formula for N a nitric acid? NaNO3. Huh? N A N O three. That's sodium something. <laughs> N H O. <laughs> what is it? Took acid grade nine. Uh, you see? H N O. H N O three. Thank you. Um. Uh, what you call sulfuric acid? Mg bracket O H two. No, Mg is magnesium. Sulfuric acid. What's that? You see, you don't practice. Once once we go offline, you don't practice grade nine. So you want me to shout at you now? Yes, O four. H two S O four. Yes. What's wrong with you now? And then the last one. Um, the hydrochloric acid, how do you represent it? HCI. H2SO. HCL. Hydrochloric acid is? HCL. HCL. It's just that it's a, it's a, it's a, a lowercase l. Are we clear? Yes, sir. And then tell me, uh, my grade nines, if uh, acids react with a, bay, a hydroxide, what do we get? Salt and water. Salt. And water, ne? And then if acid react, if a um, metal reacts with acid? Salt, water, and metal. Mm -mm. Salt and water. No, it's salt and hydrogen. If a metal reacts with uh, a, a, an acid, we get 
salt and hydrogen. And then if um, it reacts with carbonate, that's when we get salt, water, and carbon dioxide. Mm. Are we clear? Yes. Big nine, are we clear? Any questions? Like, let us do this one. Let us do this one. Um, let us do this one. We have sodium hydroxide. Where am I? Sodium hydroxide reacts with hydrochloric acid. Hydrochloric acid. Hydrochloric acid. So give me a chemical equation. How do we write it? Grade nine? So I'm still thinking. Yes. Sodium, sodium. So is it NaOH? Yes, you're right. Sodium hydroxide. It acts with um, HCl. HCl. What do we get, grade nine? So we're getting, uh, I'm going to tell you, sodium chloride. How do we represent sodium chloride? NaCl. Plus water. H2O. Mm -hmm. I want you to tell me, is the equation balanced? Yes, sir. Is it balanced? Yes, sir. Is it balanced? Are you sure? Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes, it is balanced. <laughs> I was trying to see if you are there with me. Let us check. Um, magnesium. Um, <laughs> magnesium uh, reacts with. Magnesium reacts with what? Um, I want to see if you are following. Magnesium reacts with magnesium. Reacts with. HCl. Hang it. So yes, give sir. me uh, an equation here. Mg. Mg. Mg reacts, reacts with, with HCl. HCl. What do we get? Mg. Ah. Uh? Mg. C MgCl. Yeah. Cl what? Two. Two. Yes. Plus. Two. Okay. H2O. Water, it's right? not H. Two. No, it's H2O. It's a metal. It's it with a uh, metal oxide, all right? So it was, oh, I'm sorry. It's <laughs> magnesium oxide, guys. No. It was a magnesium oxide reacting with hydrochloric acid. So now I want us to look at the equation. Is it balanced? No. Why is it not balanced? There's only two hydrogens on the right and one on the left. There's two hydrogens on the left and one on the left. What about chlorine? There's only one on the right and two on the left, I think. So we're going to put a coefficient here of what? Two. Huh? Where do we put the coefficient? <laughs> this side or on the left? On the left. On the left. On the left, right? So now we've got two hydrogens on the left and two hydrogens on the right, and two chlorine on the left and two chlorine on the right. Yeah. Both sides. So is our equation balanced? Yes. Anything that you want us to do before we call it a day, grade nine, and I will, I will still be available if you have any questions for tomorrow. Okay, I have another question for you, grade nines. Hi. 
<laughs> but I'm asking you to ask me questions and no one is asking me a question. So we've got a zinc, just zinc, reacting with sulfuric acid. So who wants to give me a balanced equation? What is the symbol for Z? Zn. 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 Plus H2SO4. <coughs> what do we get? Zn SO SO4. What? H2. What do we get? Z Zn SO4. Plus Zn SO4 plus H2. So it's Zn SO4 plus H2. What's wrong, Kosi? <laughs> you are not following, Kosi. <laughs> so it's uh, ZnSO4 plus H2. H2. Is our equation balanced? Yes. Let's calculate. Yes, it is balanced. Are you clear? So this is what I was telling you, grade nines. These are three different. Um, yeah. oh, no, we, these are two similar. Uh, what you call di three different? Uh, what you call reactions? If you're looking at them. But you see, when a, 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 a hydroxide and a metal oxide, they gave us the similar products. You see that we got a salt and water. But when we do a metal and an acid, we get uh, a salt and hydrogen. Are we clear? Yes. yes sir. And then um, any questions before I ask you another question, because I have a lot of them. So, yes. tomorrow when we're writing the test, are you going to provide us with a periodic table or we have to bring our own? Bring your own periodic table. In fact, you don't even have to bring your own periodic table because now, you know, you know, you, you should be knowing these things by now. So that's what I would do because, it, because it's our first test tomorrow, I will allow the periodic table. But you need to know these things, grade nines. Okay. Any other question? Okay. So is it revision of things we've been doing? Everything, yes. It's from uh, the periodic table to to, to to the reactions, but mostly my most of my mm -hmm. test is focusing on um, acids and bases, and because the periodic table, it's all you know. And remember the reactions uh, that I told you. Remember the difference between exothermic reaction and endothermic reaction. Do you remember those ones? No, sir. <laughs> I, 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 <laughs> I said, this is, I'm just giving you, please go check your notes. I explained to you that we've got two types of reaction, exothermic reaction and endothermic reaction. I said exothermic reaction, the heat is liberated. Endothermic reaction, the heat is absorbed. So go and find or read more of those two types of reactions. And then you also need to know all the reactions from when the element reacts with another element. So that will be the formation of compounds. So for example, when we fo the formation of oxides, uh, then we, the formation of non-metal oxides. And then we're also looking at, um, remember uh, when I told you that with E, Ion with ion, you can either get rust or magnetite. So if I give you a, a sentence tomorrow and say, um, well, ion reacted with oxygen in the presence of water and formed a, a rust, write a weight equation, uh, write a balanced chemical equation for that for three months. So you know that you need to provide me with a, a, a weight equation 
unbalanced equation and a balanced equation. Remember that water, hydrogen, and ion give us two products. It's either it's a magnetite or it's a, it's a, it's a what you call, it's a rust. So remember the difference between a rust equation or a magnetite equation. Now, Kumbula, right? Yes, sir. I hope you do remember that. And then so any... How are, gonna... huh? so how are we going to get our test? So what's going to happen is that immediately after writing, you are going to email that to me tomorrow. I'm going to provide my email address. And then I will print it up to, and I mark it and then I'll scan it back and I... Uh, I, I, I send it back and then I'm going to have a top 10 obviously published on Monday. So, so we're not going to have a meeting tomorrow? We are going to have a meeting tomorrow. We're going to meet here in the class. You're going to write here. Where you see this slide, it will be your question one. So I'll be timing your question one. Your question one will maybe have five minutes, your question two have 10 minutes, question three, so on and so on. So I will be checking your writing speed. I will be checking your fast understanding and all that tomorrow. So your questions will be timed. That's why I said after the test, I will give you 15 minutes to actually conclude everything. And then by 12 o'clock, you submit everything. Anything that will come 12.01, uh, uh, I will actually not mark it. Are we clear? Yes, sir. You will be representing your schools as well tomorrow anyway uh thank you so much uh, grade nine please uh, go study and then i see you tomorrow when we're writing our test have a great day bye everyone bye, bye sir, sir. Bye. bye 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 sir bye bye <laughs> bye bye, bye. Oh, thank you Kurisani. that has a yeah, most welcome bye sister a lot <laughs> okay then have a great day away away so can you please can you please huh? yeah can you please drop your social media again sir okay 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 let me go back <laughs> so where are we going to dm our email address uh here here wait 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 <laughs> Okay. Yeah. Yes. Sir. Yeah. Twitter at Mbata X, Instagram at XKIM. You can just drop your email address there. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you so much. I see you tomorrow. Bye, everyone. Bye, sir. Bye, sir. Bye, sir. Bye. Sir. Bye. Good luck, everybody. Study hard. Thank you. Thank you. Same to you.